In this edition of Election 2019 Two Minute Sit Downs, I got with Daniel Cameron, who is running for Attorney General for Kentucky. Cameron's running on the Republican ticket and has behind him quite a bit of law experience, including graduating from Brandeis School of Law, where he was a member of the Law Review and president of the Student Bar Association. He also worked under U.S. District Court Judge for the Eastern District of Kentucky and then went on to private practice. Cameron told me that the main impetus for his running was the ongoing drug epidemic throughout the Commonwealth, and he has ideas for how this can be remedied. So I'm originally from Elizabethtown, Hardin County, Kentucky. I uh, grew up there, uh, graduated from John Hardin High School. Uh, after that, I went to undergrad and law school at the University of Louisville. In November of 2014, I got the call from Senator McConnell to um, be his uh, general counsel in D.C. So I, I finished and concluded that job in June of 2017 and came back to Kentucky and was looking for a, a meaningful way to continue to be a participant uh, in the conversation about the, around the drug epidemic. Uh, and given my skill set uh, and uh, the unique opportunity I had to be uh, the Senator's general counsel and work closely uh, with Kentucky law enforcement and having been, been immersed in the issues that they deal with with the drug epidemic, I decided to throw my my name in the, the hat, if you will, for uh, Kentucky Attorney General, or I got into the race rather, is because I believe that it's the ultimate platform from which to confront the public safety challenge of our lifetime, which is the drug epidemic. And um, I think over the last four years, four to eight years, if you will, um, the occupant in the AG's office is, has, has not focused as much on that specific topic and that specific issue. Uh, so I want to be in a con constructive partner in the Attorney General's office, and I want to be an advocate for the Commonwealth's attorneys and the county attorneys, and I want there to be synergies between our state and federal partners. Well, I think the way that I envision handling it is to strictly view this job as a law enforcement job. Of course, the office does a number of things, whether it be cyber crimes or uh, pr pr protecting uh, uh, Kentuckians from uh, fraud and abuse and, and, and scams of that sort. Uh, but I think in order to reestablish the credibility of the office, there has to be uh, an increased emphasis and increased focus uh, on the drug epidemic and recognizing that that is our mission uh, as the chief law enforcement officer in the attorney general's office to make sure that we are providing for the public safety of all the men, men, women, and children of the 120 counties of Kentucky. Another thing that I'll add is that I think um, it's particularly uh, important that uh, we stand up for the rights of the unborn. Uh, I know in many ways uh, we've seen some, um, uh, what I would say, some distasteful uh, sort of rhetoric from New York in the passage of a late-term abortion bill. Uh, we've also seen some concerning comments uh, from the governor of Virginia as it relates to not even what I'd consider late-term abortion, I'd consider after a child has been born. Uh, uh, I think the governor said something to the effect of, you know, then a conversation will ensue, ensue about what we do uh, uh, with that with that baby. I, I, I find those comments abhorrent and, uh, and concerning, and I think here in Kentucky we need an AG that's going to stand up uh, for the rights of the unborn, and I believe I'm the person to do that. Well, I think, you know, for me, one of the things that you know, if I'm fortunate enough to be the, the nominee for the Republican Party, I think it's an historic moment uh, for the party. And I think we say, uh, if I'm, f again, fortunate enough on May 21 to win the primary, we say the following day on May 22nd that we're not going to concede a vote in the general election uh, and that we're going to campaign and run hard in every county, in every precinct uh, of the Commonwealth of Kentucky because it's important that all men, women, and children of the Commonwealth of Kentucky regardless of their political affiliation, know that the public safety uh, interests of the Commonwealth are my utmost, uh, uh, or my utmost mission and of utmost importance to me. Uh, and so that will be the role uh, that I intend, or envision I intend to push forward uh, if I'm to be the nominee of the Republican Party. Stay tuned for more election 2019 sit-downs for WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.